Okay. <clears throat> like, there's this animosity between traditional media and uh, new media. And traditional media meaning referring to, like, television and Hollywood. And new media, I guess, would fall under, like, stuff like YouTube and, like, uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, maybe even streaming sites like Twitch. And I didn't know that there was sort of this tension there. I didn't realize it was there because I, I thought maybe everything sort of grew naturally and sort of, you know, um, but I think there's this, I mean, is it fear? Is that, is that what it is? Is it, is it more fear? Like, did, did newsprint fear radio and did, did radio fear television and did television fear cable or did VHS fear DVD? Like all that stuff, like you see where I'm going. It's, there, there's this evolution. There's, there's, there's some, some of them adapt and others go extinct. I guess the reason why I'm, why I'm bringing this up is because there's a little show on Friday nights at 10.30 on E! Entertainment titled uh, The Grace Helbig Show. Now, I'm not going to stand here and tell you who Grace Helbig is because if you're watching this, then you're an internet user and you're, you've probably run across her channel before. If you've never seen or, or heard of Grace Helbig, why are you watching me first? Uh, that really doesn't make any sense and she's way prettier than me. Uh, but seeing her show on E! got me thinking that maybe, maybe mainstream is starting to understand that there's talent here and there's content here and you know and if if Grace can have all her fans and followers love her on YouTube and they go over to E to watch her show now in a way she's saving television which is kind of kind of weird and cool at the same time because she deserves some pretty high accolades for that. Yeah. But every time I see her show, and it's only just been one show, but every time she's advertised on E! and you know her show is there, she just represents all of us, you know, here in this YouTube space, and it feels good.